Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to know when to replace your brake pads and rotors. In this video, I'll be going over four simple indicators, four things that you can see, feel, and hear that will allow you to know, give or take, when it's time to replace your brake pads and rotors. Now these indicators will allow you to know when to further inspect and when to replace them. Now let's get right to it. Indicator number one is noise. Brake pads and rotors that are going bad, that have gone through enough wear and tear that pretty much need to be replaced soon, will give off a very squeaking and squealing noise. You'll hear constant squeaking and squealing noises. And this happens for a few reasons, but one of the main reasons is that when your brake rotors or pads are worn, they're a little bit warped. And with that being said, they don't sit flat against each other, okay? And if they don't sit flat against each other, you're gonna get a lot of squeaks and squeals. Now there are other things that can cause squeaks and squeals in brake rotors, and you shouldn't replace them just because you hear a noise once. But if you're constantly hearing a squeak and squealing sound, along with these other indicators, then you should definitely look at whether or not you need to replace them. Because that is usually a good indicator, a good sign that they are going bad, that they need to be replaced soon. Indicator number two is excessive vibration. Now you, you'll, know, you'll know when you press your brake pedal, a regular amount of vibration. You know, feeling a little bit of vibration or pulsation in your brake pedal is completely normal. It's completely normal. You have to think you're stopping a car that's going at a fast rate of speed, so you're gonna feel some sort of vibration. It's not gonna be unbelievably smooth. But if you feel excessive vibration and pulsation, then that is a good sign in your brake pedal. Then that is a good sign that maybe you need to take a look at your brake pads and rotors or have them inspected because they probably need to be replaced soon. They're probably on their way out, okay? So once again, this happens because they're not sitting completely flat with each other. They're worn and torn, so there's, you know, the brake, the brake pads are not completely smooth. So with that being said, that's why you feel that vibration and pulsation. And there are other reasons that can cause you to feel vibration and pulsation, but I'm just telling you the basic reasons, the main reasons. Indicator number three is a loss of stopping power. Okay, so as your brake pads and rotors get worn out, you lose your stopping power. They don't work as well. You know, brake pads and rotors are geared towards stopping your car. That's their job. They have to stop your car. If they don't do their job as well as they used to and you notice it, like your stopping distance is much further, you have to press your brake pedal down much harder to, to actually get the car to slow down and stop, then you should look at getting them inspected or take a look at them yourself and figure out whether they are too worn you know, to continue driving with, okay? They, they probably need to be replaced at that point. And last but not least, indicator number four is a visual indication. If you look at the rotors, Okay, you'll notice that there would probably be some grooves and scoring marks on the rotors and it's just going to look, it's not going to look smooth, it's not going to look super shiny, you're going to see lots of wear and tear on the rotors. Okay, You can also look at the pad, if you can actually see the pad, depending on whether or not you have to take off your wheel, and you can see how thick the pad is and that will also tell you um, how much life it has left in it and whether or not you know you should be replacing them soon. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over four indicators that allow you to feel, see, and hear, and to, to know through those things when to replace brake pads and rotors. Once again, indicator number one is noise, the squeaking and squealing. Number two is excessive vibration or pulsation in the brake pedal. Number three is a loss of stopping power. And number four is a visual indication, seeing that the pads and rotors are worn. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what your tips are for knowing when to replace your brake pads and rotors in the comment section down below. And above all, please be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.